All right, day two on the interval bodybuilding program. We have some deadlifts and some bike sprints. If you guys don't have that bike, that 10 calorie sprint is equal to 10 to 15 seconds of very strenuous cardio. So if you don't have the assault bike, maybe hop on some other piece of cardio and hit it as hard as you can for like 15 to 20, 10 to 20 seconds, all right? Um, then your deadlift, <clears throat> Most people don't realize this, but your deadlift, your stance should be closer than what you would do for like a power clean or even a squat. So it's a little bit more narrow stance. And then you're gonna have this knurling on the bar. Almost all bars have the knurling with the smooth part in the middle. So you always want your index finger just where that starts. And then you usually wanna turn your opposite hand around. So if you're a righty, you wanna turn your left hand around, have that close stance, your arms be just outside your legs set your back and pull up and down and your eyes should be looking about five six feet in front of you at the ground that makes sure that your head is not tilted up and you're putting stress on your neck so everyone thinks looking forward is the key it's actually looking down is much better for your neck than looking forward so on the side angle We're looking for our hip and our knee angle to be opening and closing at the same time. <clears throat> so I get my alternate grip, close stance, pull my chest up, and I'm here. The wrong way to do this would be to do this and compromise my back position or even let the bar get anywhere away from my body. I want this pretty much dragging on my body all the way up and then bringing the bar all the way back down. So on the first part, this is gonna be a crucial piece of the workout. The next part of the workout, you guys have lateral lunges with a bar. So that's gonna look like this. You can take it out of a rack or you can take it off the ground since it is kind of light. So for this movement, you wanna have those feet pretty wide and you're looking to get down all the way into a lateral lunge that's at least 90 degrees. So you wanna get all the way down to there and then switching sides and you're getting one rep for each one so that was two reps these things are gonna make you really sore they're probably a new movement for you so start light and kind of build your way up you'll know kind of where you should be they're high rep it's a lot of high reps on this particular workout so you'll know right away if you can do it or not make sure you can do all 50 within like two to three sets at most. And that way you'll know you have the right weight. Um, that's paired up with push-ups, which I think are pretty self-explanatory. And that's day two of the workout. 